Cape has such an interesting cover photo. Red dot. I don't know what it could mean. I think, I think he's saying something about my period. You know, he's not obsessed. He's been up there for a long time now. And I have such an interesting background cover idea too. I'm taking my actual menstruation blood and I'm telling you I've decided I prefer it written this way. I'm telling you what I think of your background. You cowardly, sick son of a bitch. You're so shallow, Abe. He's nothing, dude. He's just fucking shallow. You're not you're not nearly as um, interesting as you could be because you're distracted by your own bullshit. It's all those adventures you have, people you meet, they become nothing because you just collect them. You collect them like they're items, not people. Like they are only extensions of yourself and don't exist on their own accord. People are really offended by uh, menstruation art, so I feel like it's extra. Oh, look at that. You can see a little placenta. You like that one, Abe? I feel like someone's like only hardcore feminists show their menstruation. I'm like, oh well, it actually wouldn't have gone this route had it not been completely topical. That's nice. You can put up a dot, a nonsense dot. It's funny because actually, if you read. Some of the comments that people leave for Abe, some of them, some of his friends don't believe him. <laughs> and I'm like, that must feel so awkward to be wrong and be lying and know that people are going to catch you. That's so much more stressful than what I'm doing. I'm just like, okay, I'll just expose more truth then. <laughs> you know, like, and you're sitting there like, oh, she must be worried all the time. I'm like, no, because, uh, you know, you kind of have to just face death. And then after that, what... What is there to be afraid of if you didn't lie? Not a whole lot. I don't fear God. I know God's got to be more than how I'd be fucking so happy on me. I'd be like, good job, Tara. You did really awesome this life. You did everything right. You were... Yeah, you were angry. And swore a lot, but it was really amusing. <laughs> and, you know, you were a really good person, and you lived for completely the right reasons. You represented life, which you can be as grossed out by this as you want. It does represent life. And so do I. I know it. Oh, the healing part of all this, this guy didn't even look. Not that he would have seen anything, because I think the healing part of all of this that I've gone through is, you know, the messages that my family gave me. It's so, I mean, look at how much more they're illustrating it now. Leaving me on the streets to die and they're, I mean, killing me. Not even just that. Making sure I'm on the streets. Demanding that everyone keep me on the streets. It's sick. But what's happened is I'm like, wow, it was never, ever, ever personal to me how they were and it's really illustrated that so nicely for me that it is easier for me to say you know that's them that's their sickness that I never had to do with me not being good enough or worthy enough or now on some level you can't you know just completely erase these feelings but it's just so obvious now really was always them. Their selfishness. Bunch of armchair liberals 
all Jean, Drew, and my dad, who don't really practice what they preach. They do in what they buy. They're consumer responsible, but that's it. <laughs> you know, and all Drew plants trees, and that's really great, but look what he did. He had a, an opportunity to do a lot more for the environment than he's doing through me and has been one of the biggest proponents of locking me away. So, this is for you, Abe. Actually, it's not fuck you, it's for my son, who was ten times the leader and person you are.